forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness, but there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? How did you know that? For some days before your arrival, Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you, honored luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I have been greatly troubled as to what her absence might mean. I had hoped and prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet, alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered. Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings, a beast summoned to Erdwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps it was upon Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision, and perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. So we have to wait now, for this guy to read. The day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while. So you know, like, Eric's got to kind of feel bad. We we were able to save his sister, but we couldn't save Serena's. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Although it is kind of a weird thing to think about how... Uh, resurrection is, a, is an in-game mechanic. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work outside of battle. There's no real, you know, there's no real explanation for why you can revive the dead in a in a battle in the game. You can't just cast a resurrection spell. I guess I just didn't think too much about it. Gonna be Serena somewhere. Yep. Promise, promise, oh my love, that thou thou wilt wait in boughs above that our leaves might bloom together. A song or a poem of some kind. Though time hath torn thee from my arms, and time hath wrought us countless harms, time shall make us one forever. It's a love song from the Age of Heroes. The story of a lady pining for her long-lost sweetheart. No one remembers who wrote it, 
but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. Veronica? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? This is what I was Do talking you think about. Fall at the same time, too. Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. But I hope they do. <laughs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. Hmm. If only I had promised to do as she asked. Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know. I always have been slow. When it came to talking or walking or learning magic. I was always a step behind her. But now I must tread my own path. Alone. <laughs> I hate to ask, but would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. you. I'm sorry to be such a bother, but I shan't be one any longer. Veronica died to save me. I must make the most of my life for her sake. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh. Pulling a Sakura moment from Naruto. No more tears. That was the old me. Goodbye. glowing again. <sighs> now she'll gain all of Veronica's magic. So basically now you have both of them as one character. And she'll start using the the big wand. What in the world? I feel different. <gasps> Thank you, dear sister. I hate this so much. Can I use all of Veronica's spell? There it goes. Switches, uh, idle conserva uh, conservation thing ruins another sentimental moment. Stay here for a while, listen to the breeze. Okay, so back to sleep we go. Well, there's Jade. So I was crying before. It seems to cheer up a little now. All right. Was she there when I came outside? Why are why are these people still awake? 
Can I? Can you just go, go to bed? No, I'm gonna have to talk to the end uh, keeper. Wait a minute. All right, let's see if uh, the head priest has come up with anything from his research. Well, there's Serena. Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? The sun's oh, already high in the sky. We slept for hours. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead. But I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. I guess it's here. No, 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 no. It's up here. Uh, which side? Oh, it must be in here. Morning, Father Benedictus passed through here this morning on the way to the top of the mountain. Okay. Is this the path to Yggdrasil? Or is this something... Yeah. I guess this is where Yggdrasil was. Luminary's Landing. Or maybe not. Maybe this is somewhere new. I don't remember this place. There's a toggle. There's everybody. 